Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my creations and this is a Roblox bug reporting system where people in your game can report bugs and you on the developer side can see them. So um, link in the description for download. I'm going to be showing you how to set it up. Alright, so uh, you can drag the RBXM file into like your explorer. It'll pop up in the workspace. First of all, move this over to your starter GUI. And in here there's a few scripts and uh, some GUI elements. Uh, you're, the only thing you have to change is inside the bug retriever script. Now in here you want to set here it says script path. You want to set this script path to an empty script. Let's say uh, I'll make a new script inside server script service and call this like bugs you know and then you can set this to game.server-script-service.bugs so after you've done that all you need to do is right click on this bug retriever script and save as local plugin so after you've done that you can test if it worked do a quick play test all right so in the bottom right corner there's going to be this button that says report bug if you click on it you can type in bug for example this is not working and you click the submit button and it will submit the bug after you've done that you can like stop the play test and inside the plugins tab if you saved it correctly, there will be this bug retriever section here. And I have two buttons here. The top button will just print it out in the output. For example, if I click this button, you'll see bug 2, this is not working. I have another one that I did before just to test. And if you click the bottom one, and you click that, and you click on the script that you set inside the script path, it gives you this sort of neat place where you can see a list of bugs. Alright, and if you want to delete or resolve a bug, inside the bug retriever script, there is this comment down here with this code. And what you want to do is you want to go to your command bar and paste this in. And you want to change the bug number variable, so you want to set this to what bug number this is. For example, if I want to delete or resolve bug 2, you set that number to 2 and you press enter. And once you do that, if you retrieve the bugs list again, you can see that bug 2 has been resolved at Unix time, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically how to use my bug report system. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.